So you want to be happy? There's so many ways to be happy. We're going to get awfully specific and granular, if you will, on this particular episode as we're outside at a football field. Breathe it in. The turf smell. Ah. Ah. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Scott and Jeff once again as we are uh, on a quest for happiness. How to be happy. It's what everybody wants. It's what everybody needs. And by golly, even though we don't know jack squat. I mean, we're the first to admit it. Although we are professional public speakers and authors, we travel the world, we talk about being happy at work, how to be better bosses, how to appreciate and recognize great accomplishments, sort of the soft stuff. The hard stuff, we pretty much leave up to conjecture and our opinion, yeah. because that's more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> so in this episode, we are here at uh, Riverton High School in Riverton, Utah. Home of home, the Silver Wolves. Home of the, home of the fighting, dancing, proud Silver Wolves. I don't know what a silver... Oh, it's just a wolf. That's silver. You think that's what it is? It's probably at least or a silver nose. Or do they sniff silver out? Uh. Maybe they probably take colloidal not. silver. What does that mean? I don't know. So we're here on the football field uh, because we want to talk about being happy. And one of the ways, and we talk so, about so many ways of being happy, but one of them is, you know, open yourself up to new things. And we've talked a lot about getting out and doing and trying new things and doing new hobbies. But we wanted to talk a little bit today about becoming a, a new spectator, like finding new things to get out that you might enjoy observing, or if not out, in. Mm-hmm. Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever been a season ticket holder to anything? Um, Art, sports, concert, you know, whatever you can get I season tickets for. I had a season ticket to a ski resort. Oh, no, that's pretty good. Yeah. I, yeah. I hadn't thought of that because that's an active mm-hmm. yeah. season ticket. Yeah, yeah. So you're actually getting at, what, what resort was it? It was Sundance. Oh, Canyon. yeah. Just a tiny little oh, resort. It's great. Monday but it's Friday. beautiful, oh, yeah. and that main, it's just a really easy course, yeah, quite super, honestly. It's yeah, perfect it's, for it you because awesome. of your Very lack of athletic too. ability. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, in general, no. Yeah. Uh, but if you ever had a season ticket, do you, do you get season tickets to things? Um, I, I, I never had season tickets to soccer, but I always wanted to uh-huh. because there's a Real Salt Lake RSL is here. And so for a while, from a corporate perspective, we had loge seats. Mm-hmm. A company that I worked with had their own loge. And so it was dinner before right. the match yeah. and then seats out on the balcony and they bring you food and waiters with, with things on their arms. Well, I remember when you were doing radio, you got to go to all of the Utah Jazz games. When I was in radio years ago as a Good morning seats. show host, I, was, I got press seats right down on press row, which at the time were the first two rows. Yeah. So you're sitting right between both benches. You're hearing the coaches swear and yell. The referees, everything they say, all the players. Then you go into the locker rooms afterward, and you get interviews. And I met all, you know, Shaquille O'Neal and Michael Jordan and, and Dominique Wilkins. This was, uh, you know, Magic Johnson for a time. Nice. A bunch of all the, you know, you go to the visitors' locker room. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but be, being there, being part of it, even if you're not a basketball fan, basketball, for my money, and my wife, she's not a big fan of a lot of sports because they're slow and boring, mm. and she doesn't understand them, or she so must she hates thinks. soccer. So soccer, she's starting to get into okay. because it is fairly fast-paced. Not a lot of scoring, mind you, mm-hmm. but it's fairly easy to understand. Basketball, she loves, but football is very difficult for her. Yeah, because of all the rules, and she doesn't really want to learn the rules. She just wants to enjoy a game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or watch the Super Bowl commercials. Super Bowl is fun, and she'll watch the Super Bowl. Yeah which is cool too, but, but um, there is, uh, interestingly enough, speaking of football, since we are on a football field, there is, uh, there is the longest wait list in the world I know what it is. for season ticket holders. Do you know what it is? I think it's the Green Bay Packers. It is the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. The wait list to get season tickets has been estimated at 30 years. It's a, there's 130,000 people on the wait list to, to sit get out season tickets. In 20 degree below weather without Lambeau shirt on. Field, right? Yeah, yeah. The frozen tundra. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? But a 30 year, and it's because it's a family thing. Yeah. And the people, they pass them down to their kids. They inherit those. They're never going to give up wow. those seats. Crazy. Can you imagine waiting that long? 
I cannot. Or wanting to? Yeah. You could probably just get a single game ticket just by walking up to the gate and saying, you got any seats? Yeah, come on in. Come on. Come on in, cheesehead. Let's watch some pack of football. Woo. So how to be happy? Open yourself up to discovering new things. You might become a fan. I recently, in the last few years, became a fan of, uh, of, martial, of mixed martial arts. Oh, yeah. The, the UFC. Yeah. They have so much out there. I've always loved boxing. And I always loved kickboxing as a kid. I loved all the contact sports. But now with UFC, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's got referees, it's got rules, it's not just poking eyes and grabbing sacks or anything nonsense like that. Yeah. You know, pulling hair, yeah. grabbing sacks. You know what I mean? Sacks of groceries. Sacks, sacks, pun, da, 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 da. Yeah. speed bagging. Sacks. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's all, <laughs> it's more about, uh, you know, two people, men and women, who've trained for it, who want to do it, who are eager to do it, no one's putting a gun to their head, and they're in there as athletes enjoying time knocking each other out. Yeah. You know the one I'm not, I don't think I'll ever get into as far as a spectator sport. Is marching band? Well, no, that's, that's something that Here they is, come. I wonder if they're coming into the field. We'll see. Is uh, cricket. Oh, see, cricket. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get A match that goes on for, what, three days yeah. until it's over? We don't know what the score is. But if is. I took the time to learn the rules and maybe read some history about it, I'm sure I would. Now, the one over... Really? You're uh, sure? Yeah. But, but the, now, this was when I was starting to go over and speak in Australia a lot, yeah. right? So I'm exposed to cricket. I also got exposed to rugby. And that was easy to grasp. That's a good because, one. Holy cow. That was just these guys without pads are just bashing into each other. It's just awesome. Let's take a moment. Dance with that good old Silver Wolf band. They're over there marching, and I think they're getting ready for a parade. Summer practice. But we, we talk about doing new things, you know, learning an instrument. I'm trying to think if there's anything in a marching band that I would want to learn. Maybe the drums. The drum, yeah. I think being the a drum, drum line's major, cool. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. And, that or the tuba. I could be the whistle guy. Yeah. Okay, to finish up our little uh, video today on trying new things, we're going to try to kick extra points. It looks so easy. I mean, it's like the easiest part of the whole game. The kicker could make millions of dollars and all he has to do is he could be fat, he could be short, he could be ugly, yeah. probably is. So uh, we think this is where the extra point comes from. We're gonna hold uh, our, we're gonna tee it up for each other and see if we can do it. This is, uh, so it's about right. Right here, about the seven or eight yard line. All right. I'm gonna try it with a real ball. Oh, Jeff, you are, let me just see. Okay, I'm gonna hit it. I won't, I'll try not to kick you. Don't, don't let it go, Charlie Brown. Is it Lucy that lets it go? Yeah. Are you gonna be able to see if I make it? Oh yeah, he says. Nate Woodbury, be the hero, Nate. Here we go. Okay, you scored a goal. I got a goal. All right, Jeff's turn. That was terrible. All right, let's see what I can do here. I'm going to drop it. Oh, <laughs> oh, I dropped it and you still almost did it. Dang it. Oh, you, that was way, way better than mine. Oh. I can't even do it. Oh, wow. The football I like is the type with the round ball. Mm. It's more globular. We will go to the ball in Liverpool afterwards. <laughs> If you get a chance, especially on a beautiful summer day, grab a football, grab some kids, get outside, maybe a Frisbee, have some fun in your front yard or take over a high school field. We literally have driven away the marching band. Yeah, they're marching in the opposite direction. It's the power of a camera, baby. So what do you think? Picking a football can make you happy, especially if you make it. But hey, what else have you tried? All right, stuff that you yeah. thought you never would have. We at least tried. Yeah, yeah, at least. Just give us a comment. You're just sitting there watching us like some kind of non-trier. That's right. So try making a comment. Uh, I'm liking us. Yeah. He said it. All right.